Look, Professor, Bo is out there right now busting his butt trying to keep the past intact. Now it's time for you to tell me exactly how you plan on getting us out of this time warp and back to our lives in 2008. I can't. Have a nice life. Oh, no, you, you that, that's choking a little. If you could just, thank you. Uh, I, it's not that I don't want to, it's just that, well, you have uh, no basic understanding of what I like to call theoretical physics. Well, everyone calls it that. <clears throat> and I wouldn't begin to know how to tell you so that you could comprehend. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, as long as you don't spout some movie crap about driving a DeLorean back to the future, I can handle it. I love movies. Do you like the movie? I just saw the 2001 A Space Odyssey. It was thrilling. Thrilling. All took place in the future. Tell me, in 2008, oh, do they have a computer like Hal? Yeah, pretty much. Just a lot smaller. Really? What's a DeLorean? <laughs> okay, uh, I'll tell you mine when you tell me yours. How do you plan to get us back to 2008? I have a little boy, and I'm about all he's got. So I can't commit to this trip unless I know exactly how you're getting me to 1968 and how you're going to get me back. Look, I don't pretend to understand everything in this book, especially the bit about the twin paradoxes, but to uh, put it in, well, layman's terms, uh, you and Bo went to uh, a portal into a time warp, and this portal has plunked them directly into the past. So, we will have to uh, locate the same portal, it wouldn't have to be the same portal, in order for the two of you to, well, pass through it. How do we do with that? So just show up and pass back through the portal. Well, but, but, yes, via the, via conduit. We need to find that conduit. I'll just run in and get it. I can't believe I'm even uh, listening to you. <laughs> one more thing. There, there is, you know, just uh, one uh, minor, small problem. Is, uh, you're going to need to pay me five grand. I've never actually heard of two people going through one portal at the same time. Five thousand dollars. Yeah. Are you crazy? That's that's not going to happen. Goodbye. You know, your son gave you a hard time, but in the long run, isn't this important to Shane? What do you mean? I mean, aren't you doing this to find your son's real father? You're firing me? And I want you to clear out of town. What? 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 You, do you think that I don't know what goes on under my own roof? Now, you've gotten yourself pregnant. I love your son, Mr. No. Buchanan. Don't talk to me about love. You're like a prospector. You've been digging for gold right under my nose. No, senor. Look, do you think that you could trap my son into marrying you? How could you say such things? I am carrying your grandchild. Do you want money? No. Wait, wait, no. wait right there. Take the money. This is your final offer. You're not getting another red cent. This is because I am Mexican. I'm, I'm a maid. I am not good enough for your son. Please. Just take this and go. I am not going anywhere until I tell Clint that I am having his child. Obviously, it is possible for two people to pass through the same portal. Bo and I did it. You just need to figure out a way to get us back. Well, yes, of course. Well, you know the uh, key would be the conduit. We could just figure out what that was. Well, well one step ahead of you. It's this. I want to explain something to you. I know you spent a long time wishing for a family. I did too. We both got a lot at stake here. But your mom's got to do what she's got to do. One thing I can promise, though, is that nothing, not Rex, no one, is going to split up you and me. For real, Dad? For real. You got two parents now, forever and ever. So when your mom says goodbye, we're gonna be men about it, okay? We'll be happy for her, and you'll tell her you love her. <laughs>